Adam Lerner, and today I want to talk to you guys about doing editorial portraits. Uh, we did a portrait, or I should say I did a portrait um, of this gentleman here. His name is Maurice Dancer. He is the chef concierge, which is French for chief or primary concierge of the Pierre Hotel in New York City, which is a very fancy schmancy place. Um, and uh He's a really interesting character. Um, he was very, very uh, cool to work with. He was really a great subject. He's obviously um, had a lot of experience doing photo shoots. He's very comfortable uh, in front of the camera, and um, he was definitely open to trying some stuff out. Now, this is the resultant image. Um, if we just go into the website here, we can see that the image ran uh, in the article. Um, it's featured up here on their site, and um, you know there's a whole nice piece on him. Um, photo credit here at the bottom, which I think is kind of like weird why it's not with the photo, but never mind. And then if you pop onto the uh, the the image, you get the the full size image right there, which is really cool. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the mentality that I had going into this shoot. Um, some of the preparation and uh, some of the process that, that I used in order to get what we got. All right. So very first thing is, you know, uh, you photograph somebody like, you know, uh, Maurice, who is the chef concierge or, you know, primary concierge or lead concierge for a prestigious hotel like the Pierre in New York City. Chances are there's some information on somebody like that. So I went on to Google and I started just looking around and I found just a tidbit of information but one thing I did see is I saw a photo of him where he was kind of in what would look like somewhat of a dancing kind of a pose so I thought to myself okay at the very minimum I can tell that this guy has a personality he's got a sense of humor and that beside just kind of getting you know let's say a headshot um, that you know perhaps he might be up for doing something a little bit more fun a little bit more engaging so of course I'm going to get that kind of standard you know, type headshot, but I also want to see what else I can get and what else is available. So um, that was one thing. The other thing is that because it's the, the Pierre Hotel, um, I know that the Pierre has this rotunda, this big, you know, kind of great room, this fabulous room that's got um, all these murals painted on it with these grand stairways. So my hope was that we were going to get to use the rotunda. Now, obviously, if I didn't get to use the rotunda, there's a lot of other, you know, spots that we could use, but that to me was going to be one of the places that probably was going to look the coolest. Um, I also know that when you're shooting somebody like this, you're only given a very short period of time, maybe 5, 10, 20 minutes tops. Um, the whole thing was arranged through a PR person. And uh, what that typically means is that it's not like I'm going to go in there, I'm going to roll in a bag of studio strobes, I'm going to run them out, I'm going to like take over an entire room. It's not that kind of shoot. It's typically more of a run and gun type of deal. So what I did is I took the Hasselblad, um, I took two strobes, I took some, or speed lights, sorry, took two speed lights, Nikon speed lights, and a bunch of pocket wizards, um, just a couple of plus threes and a plus two, loaded him into my bag with one stand and one umbrella and um, you know just knew that at the very minimum I'm going to at least use one light maybe two lights if I needed to all right so I meet up with Maurice super nice guy uh, PR person you know is hanging around obviously because they want their image to be portrayed properly um, I'm scoping the area out. I look at the rotunda. In fact, I actually got there a little bit early and like went into the rotunda room prior to meeting with Maurice knew that it was amazing however the only thing about the rotunda room is that it doesn't have any natural light it's very very dark in there so that i knew that if i was going to be shooting in there and i only had two lights that i had to be you know really cognizant of that and particularly if i'm going to be shooting with the Hasselblad it's not like i can bump my ISO up to 800 or a thousand or 2000 ISO that camera you know is fantastic as it is it's not a high ISO performer so once you start getting past like 200 or even 400 ISO the image quality really starts to degrade you get a ton of grain a ton of noise you lose detail blah 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 so I knew at the very least I would be willing to maybe bump up to 200 or 400 if I had to okay so keeping all that in mind meet up with Maurice he's like you know the rotunda is fine if it's not being used let's use it 
So I go into the rotunda, <coughs> I set up one light, I get kind of my basic settings, I just take a few shots just to kind of see what's going on, and he and the PR person show up, and um, we just start talking, and uh, you know, there's that kind of like initial ice breaking stuff where you just kind of want to make your subject relax and be comfortable, and then I said, you know, I said, you know, obviously you have the last name Dancer, and um, would you at all be interested in doing something maybe other than just striking a standard pose? Because he originally was like, oh, you're here for the headshot. And I said, yes. I said, but let's see what else, you know, is available. So anyway, very first pose he strikes is this pose right here. And what's not to love about this? Um, you can see from his body language, it's very open. He has a really nice open smile. And what I did in this shot is I really just tried to tie in the beautiful background, the elegant background with these really nice chandeliers uh, and just have him kind of, you know, popped up onto that background. Well, all of a sudden he just started kind of hopping around and dancing around and really just kind of giving me stuff and he was really doing a lot of movement I had to say to him like all right you know we're not like I can't shoot 20 frames per second so let's just try to time this so we did a bunch of those shots and then we got this and I think that this shot is just incredibly fun and the thing that's really cool about it is that not only is he in the air but he's got his hands really nicely extended and he's smiling he's connecting with the camera he's really giving me something nice and um, that was a lot of fun and we're just talking and we're laughing and he's just really really you know a great subject and you can see he's he's really kind of dressed you know he's got this long you know jacket that's got long tails he's got a vest so all of this physical activity obviously you know we didn't want him to be too too sweaty or anything like that but he was very accommodating which was totally awesome all right so we get these shots we go through a bunch of those and then i'm like you know what let's just do something like a standard headshot type shot just so that we have a safety shot so we get this now believe it or not this is what our background looked like okay because um, we went up onto the stairs and we were shooting in toward the rotunda. And because we were not really tying in any ambient light, because we weren't lighting that room and that room was like literally dark, this is just basically with uh, one flash and an umbrella and um, a nice headshot. And as much as I wanted to tie that background in for this, I also thought it would be kind of cool just to have him, you know, really dignified and whatnot. Then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, I'm looking behind him, and then there's really distracting lights back there, and I'm thinking, like, I don't know if I really want those lights to be in the shot, and the framing was a little bit weird, and let me just see if I can bring that up for you guys really quick. Um, yeah, there was, this, there was this stuff going on, you know? And the, the stairs were, were really kind of cool here, a little bit too blown out, but I'm like, these, these look weird. So, of course, you know, you go in Photoshop, and I got rid of them, and I thought that this was a really nice portrait, but again, you know, the stairs are too blown out, and I really just didn't quite have enough light to bring those in, so I thought, so I kind of tried to abandon the idea, and that's where I decided to just go with the, the background going completely black. But then I decided, you know what, let me just lower my angle a little bit. And I noticed that the ceiling looked really, really, really cool. And that's when I realized, okay, let's bring this ceiling in there. Let's get this ceiling that has that really cool color. We'll use his body to block the doorway. There was a doorway right here and those lights. So he's blocking all that kind of stuff. And what I did is I took a second speed light. I put it on the floor, bare head facing up and away so that it could light my ceiling in the back wall somewhat and you know set the power on a power setting so that it was a nice balance with him and this was the resultant shot and i'm really really happy with it i think that it worked out really cool I mean, so we took an otherwise you know pretty much dark shot where we were really not going to be able to successfully take that ambient light and bring it in and we lit it with two lights we had one light basically just a speed light in an umbrella i think the umbrella might have been a little bit collapsed um just off to camera right and then we had another speed light on the little base behind him just kind of facing up and away um, and uh, this was the shot that they ran I think it looks really great I think he's really happy with this shot and I'm really happy with it so there's just a couple of things for you guys to keep in mind you know number one 
when you're going to do an editorial shoot like this and you've never worked with your subject and you know that your subject is only going to give you a very limited amount of time, have a plan, have a strategy. You know, I was thinking I knew it that I at least wanted to light with an umbrella and I was going to bring a second flash in case I wanted to either do an accent or do something like this to, to fill a room to come up with ambient that didn't exist back there. Um, also, you have to come up with a bunch of different uh, strategies. I've shot him down inside the rotunda, you know, full body. I shot him actually on the stairs behind him, but that was kind of a weird kind of a look because this, anyway, we don't need to get into that. That, it didn't quite work. Um, and, uh, and again, once I realized it wasn't working, I was like, all right, let's, let's just go from there. So then I put him up on this, this little, I guess, platform here, looking back into the rotunda. And that's kind of when this portrait came together. So overall, we had a lot of fun. Um, we got some really good shots. And of course, you know, Eater, um, they really ate it up, I should say, because they used the shot and uh, put it right on their website. So that's it for now. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon.